Happy New Year. We have 52 awesome plant-based recipes, and I want you to vote for your favorite one, the one that maybe changed the way you ate for the year um, or changed the way you felt this year. We started off 2021 with fat-free nutty butter. This was our replacement for peanuts or peanut butter, creamy peanut butter without any peanuts. And then we moved on to Asian style spice nut vinaigrette. This was Trader Joe's remake of their Asian style vinaigrette. It's spicy and sweet and we got rid of the sugar and everyone loved this recipe. Then we had horsey sauce. This recipe was a horseradish sauce made with fresh horseradish root. Corn crisps. This was an awesome cracker. You spread and bake crackers. Sugar-free lemon poppy seed loaf or the muffins. Which ones did you make or do you still have to make them? Jerry's Organic Plant-Based Yogurt got a remake. Super thick with his techniques. Thanks, Jerry. Citrus jerky. Oh, yeah. Instant Vanilla Extract. This was a game changer. Now we're all vanilla rich on a protective diet. Caraway coffee, is that your brew? Chocolate chili mousse. This one has a surprise kick with a creamy finish. Melt and bake cheese. That was my pick for the recipe of the year because this was a game changing recipe. A fat free cheese that bakes and melts and stays gooey Perfect for our pizzas, our nachos. And then we had plant-based carnitas. Oh, that recipe is fantastic and fun. And I know a favorite of a lot of you. Taco melts. That was a spinoff of the melt and bake cheese and the fresh corn tortillas that we learned to make in 2020 on our protective diet. Sheet pan nachos. That's a, that's a top one for me. I can't live without my loaded nachos. Thin crust, cheese and sausage, Chicago style pizza with our melt and baked cheese. Then there was sheet pan quesadillas. Oh my gosh, I made those for New Year's Eve dinner. They're so good with that meltable cheese. Then we have plant-based kimchi and this is made with the starch gravy, the traditional way, but we cut out all the fish sauce and the things that aren't protective for our bodies. We rolled that out into kimchi pizza, a surprisingly spicy pizza that's a great party starter. Frozen cheesy garlic bread. This is a freezer friendly garlic bread that we stash in the freezer, but it's never in my freezer. It never sticks around long. It's so delicious. And then we had bread maker, a whole wheat loaf. This is a great quickie bread in the summertime when it starts to warm up and we don't want to run our oven. And Jerry's been making a loaf of bread a day ever since that recipe came out. French onion soup with cheese croutes. This soup recipe I was working on for years and finally perfected it with that melt and bake cheese topping on the croutes. Miso healthy soup, one of my favorite recipes as well. It's my last day of the week, throw it all together. What's the scraps in the fridge with some healthy organic miso. And then we have miso healthy rice. I missed that one there. And that one's a great rice bowl dish. I love it. The UV Protective Blueberry Barbecue Sauce. I think this one might have been overlooked. This was in my refrigerator door the whole summer. And this is a great wintertime recipe too for dipping anything in because we always have frozen blueberries in our protective freezer. Roasted Grapes. Who hasn't tried the roasted grapes? Such a simple and unique recipe. You've got to give it a shot. And even in the winter when grapes aren't in season, this is a perfect way to make them nice and sweet when they're not fresh off the vine. Dameron Valley Vinaigrette. We had just moved to Utah and this vinaigrette was, was made with the base of the roasted grapes. So sweet and delicious. Summer spaghetti. 
This was our zucchini special. It was a way to cream up that sauce, all made in the Instant Pot, using protective zucchini. Fat-free brown rice risotto. This is a creamy brown rice dish if you haven't tried it. Oil-free dried brown zucchini is a browning technique that we went through this year and perfected. Detoxifying smashed cucumber salad. The salad when you have cucumbers coming out of your garden and you just can't keep up with them. Dressed with the zesty Italian dressing, of course. Sugar-free peach buckle. Many of you made this in, during peach season and you rolled it over. You loved it so much. You put pears in it over the winter. What a great, fun, quickie recipe. Chocolate chip cookie dough and ice cream. Why not? On a protective diet, always sugar-free and delicious and fun. Oil-free grilled vegetables. We reviewed that technique so that you could look like a pit master at your next barbecue. Plant-based charcuterie board. That was all the rage this year, and New Year's Eve looked divine on a protective diet with the charcuterie boards all being displayed. Thanks for sharing your photos. Fresh herb tea. This was a recipe made out of fresh herbs, and that's what I've been si sipping on all year for delicious protection. Nutty butter chunk nice cream. Yep, we froze that nutty butter into beautiful salty sweet chunks to throw into our French vanilla nice cream. That one was a winner. Seasoned whole grain breadcrumbs. These were topping everything this summer. All our pasta dishes, our rice dishes, we were throwing them into salads. Oh, they were great. Fat-free fried green tomatoes. This was a huge hit at all the summer potlucks this year and a great way to use up our green tomatoes at the end of the season. Batter and bake vegetables. This one's going to be my Super Bowl special with horsey sauce. Instant tomato paste. This recipe was created to support our protective diet pra additive free practice when all the tomato pastes went and added all these different additives to them. So we wanted to keep it clean. So we have instant tomato paste recipe that has just fulfilled a need, another need on a protective diet to keep it clean and healthy. With that, we created instant tomato soup. It's so quick and delicious. Reminds me of my childhood, canned Campbell's. Roasted green or red tomatoes. This was a side dish to use up all of the garden tomatoes this year that was surprisingly delicious. Roasted salsa featuring green or red tomatoes to add the protection of both the red tomatoes and the green tomatoes. Organic soy milk. This was a recipe created to fulfill a need when the shelves were bare and we couldn't get our soy milk to make our organic soy yogurt. So this milk was a big hit for those of you that found the beans and made it along with me. Orange, cran orange loaf or muffins. This was a huge hit. Jerry and I had one of those last night. Okara pie crust. This was made with the okara from the discard from the soy milk. And this makes the most lovely, delicate pie crust ever on a protective diet on a plant-based diet that I've had. No oil, no sugar, no butter, nothing. No coconut oil, nothing to make this crust, but goodness, plant fiber and protection. Kids spaghetti, pasta by baked casserole. This was a huge hit and so quick to toss together and into the oven. Everyday regular banana split bread or muffins. These were awesome and a fun twist on a name. Instant tomato cream sauce. Huge hit just last week. And it is going to be in my fast five recipes. Always quick and handy pantry staple sauce. And then our last recipe of the year was for New Year's Eve. Mock artichoke dip. 
And this was made up because artichokes, all the artichokes on the market are so full of chemical food additives from frozen to jarred. And I'm not about to cook a whole lot of artichokes to get their hearts out to make a dip. So this was our replacement. I hope you enjoyed all these 52 recipes this year on a protective diet. And if you haven't gotten to them all, they'll be there when you're ready. That's why we break them up by the year because protective diet education has been going strong, guiding you along for over eight years now. And we are celebrating optimal health together on a protective diet. Vote for your favorite recipe of 2021 as we move forward into new innovative whole food plant-based recipes for 2022. Take care everyone and best of health.